Well, Mayor Wong will be taking this uh, table. And from this point on, each candidate will be coming up and introducing themselves to save you from hearing from me. And I've been told that the shine off my head's blinding you, some of you off the back. So from this point on, the candidates will be coming up themselves. But for now, the Honorable Mayor Wong. Thank you, Chris. My name is Mayor Lisa Wong. It's been an honor to serve as your mayor for the past two terms. The first question, the single biggest catalyst that the city needs, and how would you pay for it? Single biggest catalyst is private development. If you look at where the city has gone for the past half century, what has been going downhill? Private development. And this has been going on for decades. My first project in the city was to redevelop the General Electric facility. And this was a facility that was employing over 600 jobs. When they left, the downtown suffered, businesses left. And the city did a study. And what did the study say? The study said cold storage, you know, try and have, try and invest no more than $2 million in the building. Don't do a lot in, in terms of this building. And that's what we found over and over again, is when I looked at the General Electric building, I said, gee, for over half a century, we've been letting buildings like this go. We have not been marketing this, these, these buildings to private developers and private investors, and we need to do that. So we put a new model on the table. And we said, we're not going to go with the study. We're not just going to look around and use the same old ideas, the same things that have been put on the table over and over again. We're going to forge a new way. And we're going to say, if we believe in the city, then private developers will believe in us too. And in terms of how to pay for it, I'll tell you how to pay for it. A quarter of our tax base has been lost in the past half century because of the lack of economic development in the city. And we need to push that forward. And I've been working on plans on John Fitch Highway. I've been looking at plans on Airport Road and plans of the old Lagoon site. There is very little developable land in the city. If you look at industrial parks, you will see that they are almost full. And we have not been focusing on building, building those parks. And these parks take work. And I am pleased to announce that we have recently won a quarter million dollar grant to look at putting an engineering study for infrastructure at the City Lagoon site. This is exactly what we need to do. We need to pull in, in public money just so we can put in the infrastructure and get those private investors, those private businesses in the city just like we did with the GE plant. And I can tell you, that brings in revenue and that helps residents too. Because residents suffer when the industrial tax base and the commercial tax base goes down. So if we want to talk about a catalyst in the city that is going to bring jobs, that is going to redevelop our historic buildings, that's going to help you, the taxpayers, it has to be private development. And to get private development, we cannot focus our entire discussion on spending city money. And from what I've heard, it's let's spend city money on this, let's spend city on money on that. And that's absolutely not the case. Because we've been doing that over and over again, we have bankrupted the city. And we need to stop doing that. We need to stop bankrupting the city and just promising to pay for things that we cannot afford. Because by doing that, our water and wastewater infrastructure has gone down. Roads have gone down. No capital plan has been in place. The Capital Commission has not met since the early 80s, and that is a problem. So my priority is to put our money where our mouth is and say that we are going to invest in a capital plan. And because of that capital plan, we have been doing more with less money in the city. Saving the city money, improving our bond rating, and giving credence to private investors who are saying, we want to invest in a city that believes in itself. And you need to do your part, and we're going to do our part, and that's what's happening. Second, what have you done professionally or civically to improve Main Street and the downtown area? As director of the Fitchburg Redevelopment Authority and as mayor of your city, the single biggest thing that's related to the catalyst is to change our attitudes and to stop the negativity. In terms of the downtown, we have looked at every property, all the properties like the riverfront park behind us, and said this site has been vacant for a decade. For a decade, who has done things about it? Who's, who's talking about it? Who's actually rolling up their sleeves and doing something about it? Well, I can tell you at the Redevelopment Authority, we pulled up our sleeves and we made that happen. We turned a site that was vacant for 10 years, that was home to vagrants, that suffered a fire, and many of you will remember the fire, because it covered the downtown with black smoke. And that was what we were doing with our vacant properties. And we turned that around. We turned that around with state money and federal grants. It did not cost the city money to build that park. And because of that park, 
we now have just about every building on this side of Main Street that can look over a park. Because I can tell you, places like this would not be here if it was looking at a burnt down warehouse space. And because of that park, because of investing state and federal money where it belongs, not city money, we're able to get private investment back in the city, bringing jobs, bringing people like Chris Ayoshua, and bringing people like the Pride back to the table. And a lot of the members of the Pride you'll see are new businesses that have opened up. And this is exactly the type of momentum that we want to keep going. Outside of government services and as a citizen of the city, what have I done to help Main Street and the downtown area? People. When Main Street was thriving decades ago, okay, but, and I've, I've heard a lot of the stories, I've heard about a lot of the stories that you guys have talked about. These happened, and these, some of these stories happened long before many of us were even born. So when I look at the downtown, I say, I'm not going to remember what happened 30 years ago or 40 years ago. I cannot afford to reminisce about that. Because when I came here, that reminiscing has not brought new business. As those mills I talked about, as that investment over the last 50 years has gone away, all the support services, the commercial, the retail on Main Street has also left. You know why? This thrives when there are people. When there are people working in those mills, they came here. They spent their money here. When people were at the mills, there's a 2.5% multiplier, so people are spending their paychecks here. People here are earning their money, they're spending their paychecks everywhere else. So what have I done for the past 10 years? As a citizen of this city, I have organized young professional events to bring new people into the downtown to put together ideas. And we talked about a martini bar, and here's a martini bar. And we talked about a coffee shop, and Chris was at that meeting when we talked about it. And he said, you know what, maybe we don't need to do a study because people are saying what they want. Actual consumers are, being, are coming together and saying this is what we want, what we want. Not what was great 20 or 30 years ago, but what we want now. And we're all going to work together to put our money where our mouth is. And those meetings have resulted in many people buying homes here, people starting businesses. And in these last three years, when the economy is going downhill, you'll see that there are new restaurants and new businesses right here on Main Street. And that is a huge symbol of the turnaround. And that turnaround is because there's people like myself who are getting organized, who are running for office, who are starting businesses and saying, we don't have time to reminisce. This is our time and we're gonna do everything that we can. Not to sit around and discuss old memories, but discuss new ideas, roll up our sleeves, and that's what we're doing right now. Last, if you were granted the ability and financial resources to make one change to Main Street, what would it be? For the last year and a half, I've been fighting for us to use a small portion of our federal grants to put together an engineering study for the city. So a grant that we already received, if we use a small portion of it to put together an engineering study for Main Street, then we can move forward with improving the way that the downtown looks, making it safer, slowing down traffic, making it safer to cross the street, exploring again two-way traffic, the things that I'm hearing from private businesses. That grant, federally funded, not city taxpayer money, would then have leveraged an application for $2 million for a MassWorks public infrastructure grant. That grant was due a couple weeks ago. I was not able to get it passed through city council. And that is a problem. We need to realize that with small investments, especially if it's not city taxpayer money, that we need to take advantage of every grant that's out there. Because for a long time, for over 10 years, we've been talking about downtown studies. For, I think, 1960s was the first time that, or the first time I could see a, a grant, or sorry, a study that referenced parking meters on Main Street. So again, the same things have been talked about for so long. But guess what? We need to stop talking, and we need to put our money and our actions where our mouth is. We need to get that grant passed, we need to do that study because that MathWorks infrastructure grant comes around next September. And I can tell you, I need your support because we need those $2 million. That's going to make a difference. That's going to make the downtown safer. That's going to attract more businesses to the city. And those are the types of things that we need to do. Thank you.